Microsoft and Xbox have the most in-depth and well-thought-out parental controls of all gaming platforms. Time now. This is because they have made their system simple but robust across their multiple platforms and allow parents and guardians easy access through a variety of applications. Why are Microsoft parental controls better? One, they are easy to implement, turning on and turning them off. Two, they allow great fidelity of control through detailed options and some explanations. And three, parental controls span across the Xbox, PC, Windows, and with their family safety app on the iPhone and Android mobile devices. But I won't be getting into those with this video. Setting up a child's account is relatively simple. In our favorite web browser, go to account.microsoft.com, bring up our family, and we can really quickly add a new child account, or we can add a new child account on the console. To do this, go to the system settings by clicking on our gamer tag in the top left, clicking A, and go to accounts, then family. Assign ourselves as the parent account, sign in, select the barriers. I usually use a passcode, but we'll see once I have teenagers, I probably have to switch to the password then, and select add new and create a new account for our kids. We are going to need an email so that we can go through and do this. There are two things that we need to know before we get started. If we're going to be allowing our child to perform an action, we're going to be given two options, block and allow. If we are going to allow some type of visibility, either our kids seeing, hearing someone else's activities or others being able to see what our kids are doing, we're being given three options, everyone, friends, or no one. Now, when I said easy, Microsoft and Xbox gave us four options to start with, and they're on the console. Number one's child, and this blocks everything. Nothing gets in or out, and we're only playing locally, in a sense. Number two is teen, and this blocks a little of this, blocks a little of that, and lets some communication through. We're allowing them more independence. Number three is adult, and it's the Wild West out there, y'all. Hang on tight, because everything goes. But then number four is customization, and we're gonna dabble like a chef in the kitchen. We're just gonna get what we think is right with a little bit of flavoring, a little bit of seasoning, and get that experience in there. We can allow our block group play with people outside of Xbox Live. As games become more cross-platform, this is more and more common. This is usually relatively harmless as communication can still be blocked both within the platform and cross-platform. We can allow to create or join clubs, and clubs are like community hangouts or arcades, chess clubs, or online forums for particular games or interests. It's a thing, but not nearly as big as the PC or phone-based platform Discord. That's going to be a different uh, video. We can allow or block broadcasting gameplay live to other individuals. Think like Twitch or YouTube, but you can also do it through the Xbox Live platform. We can also upload our captures, screenshots, and streams to Xbox Live. That's purely gameplay and then upload connect or camera content to Xbox Live. With the camera on the kid, I don't think so, no thanks. We can also allow or block others the ability to share our content. Think Twitter or Reddit sharing of highlights and things like that. And we can allow or block multiplayer on Xbox Live. Again, this doesn't require communication to be enabled. Adding friends, we can allow or block adding friends. I mean, that seems relatively simple. So, so those are the actions. Privacy, on the other hand, is all about visibility in the digital landscape. This is everyone, friends, or no one options. And we're going to be seeing other people's profiles and videos, audio text and image chat, and being able to see other content creation and uploads to Xbox Live. We can also control what others can see, and that's very important. Usually Xbox will pop up an alert when people are on our friends list come online. We can disable others from even seeing that our kids are online at all. We can also prevent them from seeing our friends list or prohibit or allow communication for our kids. On the PC, this is super easy to do. This is the hub, the home. This is the great awakening all in one. Okay, it's not quite that powerful, but it's pretty amazing. And this is where all of the different networks are managed in one place. Well, kind of, sort of. In the URL of our favorite web browser, we want to go to account.microsoft.com slash family slash home. And this will show us our family. I currently have Mrs. Ritter and my kids on there, so I'm not showing you mine right now. We can manage each kid here individually at the top, or we can set a universal screen time limits, web content filters, activity reports, and more on the lower half of the screen. Right now we want to stay on the upper half and click on the child's accounts and bam, screen time reports, apps, games, web search, spending, balance, Xbox online gameplay. We have everything at our fingertips. Click on the screen time and we have access to a universal time limit or individual systems such as Windows, PC. That's pretty convenient. Click on app and game limits and we can individually block different installed applications and games across all of the Windows based devices. Web filters will only work on Microsoft Edge, which I don't think anybody uses. If we want to use this feature, we need to block other web browser applications for our kids. More advanced options are out there and personally, I like to run a Raspberry Pi. It works great. What's nice is the allowed sites that's called a whitelist and it's really good for younger kids. And the block sites or blacklists are really good for older kids who need to do research for school assignments and the such. Now, spending is the same as on the console. 
and we're going to limit purchasing power based on options such as age restrictions, which is based on the ESRB. We'll put out a video on that later and allowances. So if you allow them to have money every month or you add money to the account every month, they can spend it through this function. Now, if funds are added through an Xbox gift card, they're not controlled the same way. It's not through the spending filter, but we will still get an alert that our kids bought something. Oh, but we're not done yet. We're gonna head over to the account.xbox.com site and it'll let us review all the settings that we established on the console itself. That means we now have instant access to limit or expand access on the console through a web page. I personally like this view because I can see all the options very quickly on one screen. What I don't like is that it isn't immediately accessible on the family view on the Microsoft account page, but it's specific to the Xbox account page. No big deal. Oh, and yeah, it's still available for access through the family app as well on our phones. This app greatly resembles the PC web page. It's a little bit clunky for my taste, but it's a bunch of large icons and it serves its purpose well and because it's laid out similarly. It doesn't take long to figure out how to go between the available options and manage settings, spending, screen time, or content allowed. Overall, I think Microsoft has made some classy moves in how they set up the parental controls, and by making their applications work across most of the digital ecosystem, it helps parents ensure their kids are playing safely in the digital playground. Of course, we still think here at Ritter Gaming, the most important way to implement parental controls is to actively engage and play with our kids. If we allow them to direct play, go through and explore new worlds, environments, tell us what gets them most excited about in Minecraft or Roblox or any other game that they're playing out there. We're building bridges of communication and openness with our kids that can last for years to come. And we can also say, hey, I don't think we're quite ready for this yet. And we can steer it away without being prohibitive and we can say constructively, let's go do this other thing together. There are times when we have to go through and be the parent say enough is enough. And well, Microsoft and their counterparts within the gaming community have made it easier for us to do this enforcement. Now, everything that we've set up on the web page, we can go through and do the exact same thing on the Xbox console itself. We go back to the family settings app on the console, and we click on our child's account, and then we go through and we start hitting the menu and we do the exact same thing down again. I promise it is super simple. We go through, we can set the settings, we can set the ESRB ratings, we can set the age of their, our child. I can say, my kid's nine years old, I think that they're able to play these games. But we can also set exceptions here and there for different communications. What I really like is the fact that we can go through and manage our kid's friends list, and we can say, yes, I know this person, it's the aunt, the uncle, the kid down the road, or the one at school. I know their parents, I know they're a good kid. I don't mind them playing with my kid online and talking to them through a headset. I think it'll be fine. The other thing that we can do with this is we can say, I'm gonna let you be able to buy your own game. You've earned some money, I'm gonna put it on here and you can buy your own game. That's pretty sweet. So there are some things that I think that Xbox can improve, but for right now, this is probably the premier parental controls out there. This is Wes from Raider Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit subscribe or hit like, or both, or none, it's up to you. It helps us push out the video if you do engage with it though, or you leave a comment down below and let us know how we did. If I mess something up, let me know. I'm open for criticism. Anyway, I'm Wes, this is Raider Gaming. Do good, play hard, game on, and we'll see you 